Hi, this is Candy from Candy's All Media Review and part two of my review of absolutely gorgeous Zune HD and this is the uh, 16 gigabyte version. Uh, I want to continue what I was saying about apps um, when I was in the marketplace rather. When you have the Wi-Fi connection you, you click on apps and you're able to to download all the different apps. You can click to see what new games and apps are are available and also it shows you what uh, new updates are available uh, for the apps um, also one cool feature is if you click on the, the left hand side you will see what you just played uh, I, and Nirvana was just playing it shows you uh, also this feature right here is the pin feature now say you want to um, listen to a song like over and over you just absolutely love that song okay this is uh, Alice in Chains Man in a Box which is one of my favorite songs uh, you hold this down and uh, it says remove from quick play because I already did let me remove it and then I'll show you okay hold it down you pin to quick play that's the back button you just click on there and go back and here you'll see it's pinned now what this does is it's permanently there for the time being and you can just you know go back to it and, and it's sort of like a bookmark and you can keep playing it or how many times uh, so so that's pretty cool also over here is your your history of, of what's been played you have Alice in Chains here you have Slipknot um, this is uh, new albums that have been synced to your Zune HD. You want to see, uh, you say, oh, well, what was that? I can't remember. Well, here you go. You got Linkin Park, Deftones, uh, Tokyo Hotel, Kenny Wayne Shepherd, Johnny Lang. Um, so that is also very nice. It's just really nice, nice software, very intuitive. Um, Another uh, feature is, uh, in the music is that you can search by just scrolling up like that. Okay, as you can see, my my music I have very very varied tastes in music, everything from rock to jazz, whatever. So you can do that. If you don't want to do that, you just click on like a letter, for instance, F, and there you go. You want to like for instance find something in T's or whatever takes you right there very very easy uh, playlists uh, if, you, if, if you want to make a playlist um, you can make it out of anything that's playing and um, for instance like this you would click on uh, you would name it you would name your playlist Okay, I'm not, I'm not going to do it right now, but it, it, and then you would you would have a playlist uh, of uh, Alice in Change or whatever songs are, are playing. Close out of here. Oops, let me go back in here. Um, you can also see what songs are on your Zune HD, the uh, genres, and of course the albums. You can scroll like this. Or the alphabetical way. Same thing with the songs. And there you go. So that that is is very nice. Um, when you're playing a song, uh, let me go to um, artists here. <clears throat> For instance, um, I don't know, let's go to something uh, totally random here. Um, for instance, uh, Tokyo Hotel. Uh, click it, and down here, these uh, icons here are, I don't know if you can see it here. This is uh, Shuffle. If you want to shuffle the album. And this is repeat if you want to repeat the song. And this is the rating. You click here, you have a heart. You're like, man, I really like this song. You know, and you click the heart. Or if you 
Sorry about that. Um, if you really hate the song and you want it off your Zune when you sync it up, you click this. Uh, you tap on it. Oops. The camera's not behaving right. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay. And you'll have like a, a, a break in the heart. I don't know if you can really see it. No, it's not gonna. It's not gonna come in clear. But uh, when you click it again, the heart will turn into like a broken heart. Uh, and uh, anything that has a broken heart on it will not be synced. It'll be removed next time you sync um, your Zune HD to the Zune uh, software on your your PC, which is which is very good. You can get those bad songs out of there. Um, I'm going to click out of here and go to the main menu again. Uh, again, a great feature of uh, the Zune HD is the uh, HD radio. If you have the HD stations in your area, um, hopefully you'll be able to get them. Uh, one note, the headphones that come with the Zune HD are the antenna. And if you use crappy, if you use other headphones, which I highly recommend you do use, uh, if you use crappy ones, um, the signal's not going to be as strong, so make sure you use premium ones. And uh, I have been able to make it come in, in in the next room, but I'm in this my bedroom here, so it's not going to come in. What will happen is you'll get the station ID up here and to the right. It'll have like HD 1, 2, and 3, depending on how many HD stations. And uh, it's, it's really very cool. To find out which HD radio stations are in your area, go to hdradio.com. And over here is uh, podcasts. Right now I just have uh, two video podcasts and this Joel Osteen. So you can see the quality of uh, the video is very, very nice. Just gorgeous, gorgeous uh, OLED uh, display. Okay, I'm gonna close out of here. And uh, oops, see, told you, very responsive touch screen there. And uh, the internet browser, which I talked about in my other uh, review. I actually reviewed the browser. And uh, you can go to like Google Images, say you want to, you know, stare at pictures of Kurt Cobain, you click on here. The browser really does load a, a lot quicker now with the new firmware and um, the iPod Touch for uh, Safari browser is number one in my opinion, but this is a close second. Uh, click that to see the, the full image. There we go. I don't know if you can see from this video, but it's just gorgeous, uh, very nice quality. Um, Facebook, you can go to that too. Of course, depending on your uh, connection, you know, it might come up quick, it may come up slow. Uh, this is uh, Facebook. For some reason, I can't really um, add my status on here. I, I don't know why. But okay, we'll go to another website. Um, okay, Rolling Stone, for instance. See how quickly that came up. It came up really really quick. It's just a really nice browser. Uh, you can save pictures unfortunately for whatever reason I don't know why but hopefully they'll add that and you cannot watch YouTube. Hopefully they'll add Flash and a YouTube app. Okay boys and girls this ends my uh, uh, review of Zoom HD part 2 and I'll have one more part um, part 3. So I will see you soon.